Hello and welcome to a tabletop bellhop or cardboard coat check, or I guess in this case a card coat check. I am Mo Tuzano to the tabletop bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question I'm answering is what do you get in this rather small box? What I have here in my hands is the latest expansion for the deck building card game Draconis Invasion. This is the second official uh, expansion for Draconis Invasion which, as far as I understand, adds a few different modules. So what I'm gonna to do to start is cut the shrink off this, and then I'll read you the back so we have an idea of what we're gonna get. Now, before I continue, I do wanna point out this is a prototype, and this expansion will be coming to Kickstarter in early 2022. At this point, um, I do know there are some projection changes that will be happening, but as far as I know, gameplay will not be changing. So there will be some production improvements. At this point, I do not know the MSRP on this expansion, but it is a fairly small box, especially compared to the other two. So here's the box we get, and what it says on the back is Draconish Invasion Glory Expansion is an exciting modular expansion that requires the original game and can be played with the other expansions. You're going to add up to three new gameplay modules. There are champion cards that introduce asymmetric abilities. I love asymmetry. We have bonus cards and new criteria for end game glory points and Invocation cards give players the ability to store purchase cards and use them at will. So let's take a moment to put this down on the table and take a look at what you get in the box, the small box, for the Glory expansion for Draconis Invasion, which was my podcast co-host 2021 Game of the Year. All right, so here you have the small box. I've cut the shrink off. You can kind of look at the back here. There's a barcode. It's from Keji Inc. Uh, same designer as before, Jeff Lai. I am just failing miserably at opening stuff today. All right, interestingly, no shrink wrap on the inside. We do have the Glory Expansion Quick Rules. So this summarizes the new rules for the different cards, which I'm not gonna explain this here, but it does kind of tell you that you're gonna have new starting powers and bonus cards to do things. And then there is, again, find the rules online so you can get a new updated set of the rules on the back, which is pretty cool. Then we've got a, a link to their website, which is neat, useful including the games that Keji Inc. is now publishing, which you'll recognize some of those as, as longtime favorites. I'm a huge fan of Mackie Stack. Then we get right to the new champion cards, which I'm going to pull those out. Then we get some blank cards in between. Again, remember, this is a prototype. Then we have the new bonus cards, and then some more blank cards, and then the new invocations. Let's start with the invocations since those are the ones in my hand right now. So one thing I will note is it's all the same artwork on these. And they are all the same. Okay, so all the invocation cards are the same. So there's probably one for each player. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's one invocation card for each player. And it says right on it, after you buy a card, store it under this card. During any future turn, gain it to your hand. So that's interesting. It's not quite the way I understood it. So you are going to sit there and store a card the leave it in play to be able to grab it when you need it. That's pretty cool. So that's it, invocation cards. Now we're gonna look at the bonus cards. So this says, awarded to the player with the most terror, it's worth two points. So now we have end game scoring cards. Unique artwork on each ones. I like the fact that I'm seeing lots of colors here. So awarded to the player with the most defender cards. Then we have reckless, awarded to the player with the most action cards and so on. Artworks as good as the original. I'm liking the variety of colors we're seeing here. That's awesome. Really nice looking art, in my opinion. Next, we are going to move over for the champion card. So these add an asymmetry to the game. So this one says, trash after use, buy one defender for 30 gold less. Well, that's pretty cool. That's the weapon here. Oh, there's multiples of the same one. So there's two weapon ears. Two, okay, so there's two of each. The Hunter, trash after use and inflict plus 10 damage on a gold. Then we have the Barbarian. Oh, I really like the fact the Barbarian's a woman. That's a nice touch. Taking the artwork a lot. I'm not going to read all of these. That's a creepy looking scoundrel. And then the Parasite. And the Pyro. And the Executioner. Looks solid. That's all you get right here. You've got three new modules for Draconis Invasion. I have to assume this is going to have a very reasonable price point, which is something I will appreciate. 
What I love seeing about this is it's adding new rules to an existing game we already love. So that'll be interesting to check out. I am looking forward to trying these cards out. Now I'm just going to put these back in the box. Let my editor do the work of speeding this up because no one wants to watch this. Again, remember this is a prototype, so I highly doubt the original is going to come with all these blank cards. Really looking forward to checking this one. I was uh, mentioning it to two of our local gamers last night who we played through most of the original campaign, and they're also looking forward to it. So there you have the Glory Expansion for Draconis Invasion. All right, Glory Expansion for Draconis Invasion. Three new modules you can add to your games of Draconis Invasion. One, a way to give power players um, asymmetric power, something I love. Every board game, in my opinion, should have asymmetric powers. I especially like it in a deck builder like this because up until this point, everyone starts with the exact same cards in their hand at the beginning. This is a nice touch. Then we have a new way to store cards. So you can purchase a card and store it to add it your, to your hand when you need it. That sounds interesting. I've never seen another deck builder do that, and I'm looking forward to playing around with that. And then we have new ways to earn points at the end of the game. Always something appreciated, just adding more ways to get glory, especially with how quick this game plays. I think this will be a useful thing and give you another strategy instead of just killing monsters. So I dig that. So there you have it. Everything you get in the box for the glory expansion for Draconis Invasion. Now, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. I encourage you to check out my other content over on the blog at tabletopbellhop.com on YouTube and join us live on Twitch Wednesdays and Sundays. Thank you and game on.